Hey y'all, hey, good morning, how y'all doing today? It's Saturday. Saturday morning, but I ate it. Got my appetite back this week. Started off slow. Little bit by little bit. Not that it didn't hurt for me to miss a couple meals. But... I just come to you with a quick update. First and foremost, gonna be packing this. Her club, sure fine, and some wheat storage. Um, mm, been having a few epiphanies here and there about everything that's happened, and. Hold on, y'all. Let me get the lead bite. I'm finna try to get right now. Y'all gotta excuse my hair. It's so dried up in there for my baby plaid to the... She can put me two plaids to the back. And if I make it to church tomorrow... It'll just help to go up on my weed because when I say it's super thick and that, it make me want to just cut off my perm in. But anyway, in everything that I've been through and having to get things together after um, burying my husband so unexpectedly, um, come to the realization, I don't know, I just, I hear something in me that says, get up. Basically, I got to keep going. Because he's left me here with two beautiful children. And even if I felt like quitting, I can't. Because I got to do what I got to do for them. So, right now, I may not record as often. I don't know because I feel like it's a little bit therapeutic um, to record and kind of just get my feelings out there. I hate to say they're strangers, but... Because I, I feel like by now we're not strangers, but... You know, some are the ones that are just starting to subscribe. Um, but to people who, not just the people who know us, you know, closely, but to those who only knew us from a distance. I don't know why I feel like it's therapeutic, but it helps. So, I'll be doing my cornstarch videos and table talks. And a lot of times, table talks will probably go towards... You know, most of it's, you know, what I'm dealing with. But, so I hope y'all don't mind it. I can't help it. Um, yesterday I got the urge to do a whole lot. I did a good bit. But one thing I have realized in this, and this is the humor of it. He would always tell me, I take up all the space on the dresser. A bedroom closet is full of all of my stuff. And it's true. But as I start to go through some of the things in the house that belong to him. This man had a whole den. The entire laundry room. The whole living room closet. Part of my computer room closet. Which the computer room started out as my designated space outside our bedroom. See like the kids have their own bedrooms. We shared our bedroom, and then I felt like it was necessary for both of us to still have our own personal space in the home. Like, him having a den, me having the computer room. I, I called it a computer room because that's where I basically had, like, office space set up. And I used to have, like, a futon. I still have my TV in there and things like that. But I took the futon out um, after somebody destroyed it. And I had a good one, y'all. I'm off the store with heavy duty. Came from Kmart, but some of the wrong company came through years ago when just destroyed it so i took it out and it eventually came like my storage my computer still in there different things of that nature but he had stuff in there too this whole storage house in the backyard full of mostly his stuff so all this time i've been thinking i've been taking up space he got a lot of space in this house too so i don't know but anyway i'm also Remembered a lot of things that I would refrain from doing. I hate to say refrain from doing, but it's kind of like 
um, mama always say, my mom always say, you know, in relationships, especially when you love somebody, you don't have to break for nobody, but everybody got to be willing to bend. And in that bending, I realize there's a lot of stuff that I, you know, we used to do and carry on that I don't anymore. So, mm. that's what I say. Love, good love, real love, it'll change you in good ways. Not just, you know, all of what everybody else can see. But anyway, let's get to this packing. Because I don't want the people that don't even know me and what we've been through recently to get on here and get mad and say she took her, took her forever to do this, that, or the other. I kind of want to put some laundry at the bottom. But I'm not. I'm going to start off with the her club. I'm going to make this laundry free. And see if we can get mama into these chunks again. It'll be a follow-up follow video later. Wheat starch. I'm going to have to save a little bit of that to chew on. Y'all, I actually, I made a video yesterday, but I ended up not keeping it. Um, it was just me eating, eating just powder form. And I actually swallowed the spoon. When I got to the second spoon, I made it too big to swallow. So, you know. But anyway. Um, I don't know why I felt like doing that. Oh, that smells so good. I don't know what it is about the weed stars. It just remind me of like Play-Doh or something. I'm gonna save me a corner of that because I don't know why I'll get back to, when I'll get back to Mr. Chin's, and I don't want to use our lip right now. Um, I just got a lot going on. So all of my giveaway winners, I still have all of your information. I think, and even if I don't, I'll go come back and request it. I have not given up on. Sending you out. You know, I, I had a couple of people tell me, don't worry about it. Nope. I'm warming on my word. I had I couldn't deliver when I said I could deliver, but sometimes things are beyond, you know, your control. My husband just died and leaving like that it was beyond my control. And I'm just going to keep it real from you. This is going from a two income household where he was, you know, the main bread went to a one income household. So, I'll still be doing my giveaways, getting those out of the way, getting the last winners out of the way first. I don't care if I have to do it paycheck by paycheck until um, I get some things settled. I will be taking care of them um, starting, I want to say next Friday, but it'll probably be Friday after next. So, just be patient with me. And after I get them out of the way, we're going to do the next giveaway. But not until I get those out of the way. I don't want to have too much going on at one time so we're gonna put some sure fine here but i'm not gonna do the whole thing of sure fine because i know well i might nah it's actually pretty full i didn't realize yeah this box says 12.4 ounces but it's shaped a little differently which is why it can hold more it's crazy it's heavy too Actually, the, I'm crazy. The ounces are referring to what was in the box. Forgive me. Oh, actually, and I have two brown paper bags in here. And for whatever reasons, um, I have not been able to brick with the brown paper bags. So I'm going to really take my time and do this like I should. Yeah. My... Aunt made my daughter a Hershey cake, I think is what it's called. Y'all, the little girl gonna be my side by the time she gets through with it. Cause ain't nobody really been eating but her. Cause my son has been with my mother the last couple of nights. Y'all know that I spent my first night alone in the house Thursday night after the concert. Friday night, my daughter came. No, 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 no. Wednesday night after the concert. Thursday night, my daughter came home and she's been home since so. She's been tearing that cake up since she came home Thursday night. I'm talking about y'all. 
much. It's beautiful. I'm probably going to end up taping this box. I don't know. Probably going to tape it. See what we get. Thank y'all for being patient with me. Uh, I'm actually on the hill. Like, I, I feel like I'm... I feel a sense of peace today. It's kind of like I... um. I'm coming back into my own. Like I keep telling everybody, it, it feel like a like a bad breakup. I just can't go back and get him. You know, I just can't. That's almost what it feel like. It feel like, um, and I think that's where the anger come in there because it almost feel like he just left his wife and kids for another woman. And I know that ain't the case, but that's just what it feel like. Like I just, I don't know. And I wish it was that simple, cause. If it were that simple, I'd be over it almost. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no. But if it that if it was that simple, you know, my thoughts on moving on with somebody else would be different. But because it was not that way, um, well, y'all know because we had already discussed this. I had already told y'all, like, you know, from my the, the video I did that Friday night before. The money that he pays. I had already told y'all that if he decided to leave me for another woman or the good Lord took him before he took me, like I wouldn't, another man couldn't stand a chance. Because I know I'm, like I'm a whole different lady that I've been with him. And it's different things that I'm accustomed to. You know, as we are children, women, whatever. When we're growing up, our parents and people around us that love us get us accustomed to one thing. My dad was always a provider. Um, whatever I said, I need, I want, I got. So, first getting out there into the world, we look for me in it. Whatever we want, we need, we got. But I always let my daddy be in the house. Not just in the house, but just sitting down and spending that time. My daddy didn't do that. Um, God rest his soul. He died a couple of years ago. Um, but he always made it do what it do. Uh, so... I didn't really think about the aspects of having somebody to be there for me all the time. And then when I got with my first husband, he was more like the, along the lines of giving me whatever I wanted, you know, outside of whatever else he had going on. But anyway, but when I got with my current husband, the one that just passed away, um, he was more so of make sure you have whatever you want, most of what you need. And, but he was there, you know, he spent that time. He went to work and came home. Like, if he he might have went to Walmart from time to time, and he really didn't do that because, um, <laughs> most times I have all the money, but that was just our thing then. But because I did all the shopping and paying the bills and everything, else. and that that's another thing that helps me is because when he worked, he worked so hard. When he came home, he could he didn't want to do anything else but rest. By me being you know over the household, I pretty much took care of all of the finances. So, um, in a sense, that helps me because I know how to handle my business. Like, I, I got things in a row, you know, to do what I need to do. But it's just getting my mind together and handling those things. And I, that's the sense of peace I feel this morning. But anyway, so these results I'm going to come back to y'all with later on today. Might be tonight, this evening. I don't know. Um. I think mom will be here later on because my boy got to come home today. School starts on a Monday. They were out of school the whole week when that happened. They were already off that Monday. We were all here. And they had that whole week. Plus, they just had last week for Thanksgiving. Well, this this week they were in, the whole week for Thanksgiving. So, they've been out of school for two weeks now. They got to get on it. I got straight-A students, and that ain't going to change. So, come back with these results later on. We're going to microwave these just in case y'all didn't know. Um. Probably gonna do about six minutes. I'll let y'all know when I come back with the results. But yeah, y'all be good. I will see y'all later. Remember to love one another, love God first, keep Him first. No matter what is going on 
Y'all forgive me for looking rough. But, uh, you know what it is. Be sweet, y'all. Like this video. Leave positive comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, y'all.